Hello, my name is Elizabeth and I work at Associated School Employees Credit Union. I am currently a loan officer with the credit union in our Lordstown office. And some of my roles and responsibilities are processing uh, different loans that we offer. Uh, we offer a variety of loans such as auto loans, mortgages, home improvement loans, and debt consolidation. Today, I will be discussing extracurricular activities as well as the expenses that go along with that. Um, I have a PowerPoint put together for you to go over some of the things that your school may offer um, that would be classified as a extracurricular activity um, that you can participate in. So some of the extracurricular activities that your school may offer are um, art, cheerleading, chess club, dance, drama, esports, music, sports, student government, and yearbook. Um, do you guys participate in any extracurricular activities at your school? Uh, when I was in high school, I liked to um, go to the football games, so I joined the Spirit Club. And along with the Spirit Club, there were a bit of expenses that went along with that. A lot of the time they would have different themes for the football games. Uh, so I would try to dress with the theme such as maybe there was senior night and you dressed up like um, a senior uh, or there were games were white out where you dressed in all white. And some of that stuff got a little expensive. Um, so today we're going to discuss um, what goes along with those activities. You will typically need to pay a fee to participate in extracurricular activities. Extracurricular expenses are the cost to participate in after school sports, clubs, and other activities and events. Uh, in high school, I also participated in um, FBLA, and I went to a conference for that, um, and there was a little bit of an expense with that. Uh, we, it was an overnight trip, so we had to pay for the hotel to go over there and the entry fee. Sometimes with some of the clubs and extracurricular activities, there will be fundraisers where you can um, raise money to be able to go on those different trips. And sometimes you have to pay a little bit out of pocket. Um, what are the costs for participating in your extracurricular activities that you participate in at school? And how do you pay for them? There are participation fees. Participation fees typically cover the costs for registration, uniforms, equipment, and supplies. There are also additional fees. Sometimes additional fees are applied to cover the cost for costumes, tournaments, award banquets, travel, and then there could also be additional tutoring or coaching. How much do families in the United States spend on average per year on extracurricular sports activities? Uh, do you think maybe it's only $271, $971, or do you think it's $671? If you picked $671, you are correct. On average per year to cover the costs of uniforms and fees charged for registration, lessons, and coachings, um, these can add up to $671. It is important to understand the costs involved in extracurricular activities and to plan ahead. Research the potential extracurricular expenses a year ahead of time so you have time to earn and save money, whether that's doing chores and saving up money um, from an allowance, or if you have a job, it's always good to make sure you plan ahead, look at what you could possibly be spending over the year and try to save up for that. 
Um, maybe you can consider sharing the costs with your parents or your caregivers. Say um, to your parents, hey, I would really like to join this club and there is a bit of cost to it, but maybe if I pay half and you pay half, or maybe they can help you out there a little bit. Uh, it's also good to set a short term financial goal. Um, it, a couple of months that could even help. It will help you in the future, I promise. And by setting those goals, um, it will help you pay for those extracurricular expenses. Track your spending to make it easier to prioritize and achieve your financial goals. Make sure that you are saving money and putting a little bit of side um, each, if you work each pay, just put a little bit aside that way um, you have that for the future. And prioritize your options to avoid paying for a sport or club you don't really want to do or don't have time for. So don't take off um, more than you can chew. So you don't want to sign up for a bunch of different clubs and pay all this money into them and then you not actually have time to be able to participate in them. So what is your short time financial goal to plan to earn and save money you will need for next year's extracurricular expenses? What is the definition of extracurricular expenses? I went over this at the beginning of the presentation. Do any of you remember? The cost to participate in after school sports, clubs, and other activities. If you selected that, you are correct. Now I have prepared a um, little activity for you. It goes along with all the other activities you have from the earlier presentations. Um, you have a extracurricular expenses activity sheet. Um, they will ask you different questions about setting goals um, for you to be able to go over that. Now, I hope this video was helpful and hopefully you'll be able to save up and get to participate in those extracurricular activities that you are interested in. I hope this was helpful and I hope you apply this to your everyday life. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.